Hey guys, it's Nakaya and I am back with some prom makeup today. Um, this is my little hostage, my sister. She is my model today and you will be able to see how um, how much she don't want to be here, but that's okay. That's all right. We don't care about none of that. Sit in that chair, get this makeup done so you can show the people, okay? Show them, you know, what your sister can do, you know? So I'm gonna be using her as my little mannequin today or whatever, um, um, and we're doing prom makeup. I have a couple of prom girlies that I have to do in a couple weeks, but I know everybody's prom is different. So I just wanted to upload this video in case someone isn't able to get their prom makeup done. You know, maybe you need to show somebody, a family member or something, you know, you try it out on your own let's get right into it you know we're using that elf uh power grip primer all over everywhere and here she has like a few little dark spots or whatever so you can use a color corrector and please make sure you blend the color corrector out use a soft fluffy brush tap 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 you know tap it out until it's a little um it's transparent almost like it's a like a, a reddish undertone but that's so that you can cover up dark spots and um uneven skin tone and stuff like that so that's what i'm doing here um just a little bit of discoloration dark marks underneath uh the chin or on the chin rather and right on the cheeks here so i'm just using a soft brush so we can um cover that up tap 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 soft brush real lightly you want to make sure your face is completely clean i'm talking washed toned and moisturized just you know for the basics we're not even getting to all the other facial stuff and stuff like that it's just you know just make sure your face is clean though before you start any makeup okay so here I'm using the Maybelline Brow Pencil in Deep Brown. I typically use Deep Brown on most people. Um, I mean, I do use other colors. I do have other colors. But I do typically use Deep Brown on most people because they have dark brows. Most of the people that I service, I should say. Let me, let me preface that. Most of the people that I service, they have very dark brows. So, oh my God, y'all. It is a spider. Oh my goodness, that just scared me so bad. I'm literally sitting here recording this voice over at the kitchen table and the, the, uh, the tabletop is a glass. And a spider just ran across my hand. My soul almost left my body. I almost heard me scream in this voice over. Goodness. Okay, so you're gonna use light strokes here. Now my sister has fairly thick brows fairly thick dark brows and she always has had them so um even if um typically like I probably wouldn't have been as heavy-handed but because her brows are already so dark and so full it, that's what it just was gonna be y'all that's just what it was gonna be so we're just gonna take you know your favorite concealer we're gonna cut underneath and make sure you're going slow. Do not um, disrupt any work, any lines that you have already created when making the shape of the brows. And if you don't wanna be like me, I just um, learned with doing makeup, like put, applying the product on the back of my hand because it'll warm it up and it'll be easier to transfer it moving around and stuff like that you don't have to do that don't be like me you can use a paper plate or you can use um like you wear gloves if you wear gloves or whatever i don't know what it's called but you know like when you see the 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 girlies who do hair the braiders and stuff like that they have like a little wrist thing and they put like the gel or the grease or whatever product they use in to you know make the um make the parts and stuff there's something like that for makeup artists too it's much bigger but yeah i don't know what it's called if you know what it's called put that down in the comments i don't know what it's called but here i am just like i was before tapping tap 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 that product in ever so lightly okay so we are using uh i think this is the james charles palette uh from morphe and i'm just going in with that light yellow 
and just tapping that into the crease just tap 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 lightly into the crease and as you can see i haven't used any flat brushes other than for concealer everything has been a soft brush so far all right tap 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 still using that soft yellow Even know where that spider came from y'all like i just came and sat down and um i was about to start my homework i was reading some emails from my professors because i am back in school getting my um marketing degree marketing management with a um, specialization in entrepreneurship as you know i did um start my llc last summer and I mean, there are a lot of things that I did do on my own. I went through LegalZoom and there are other things, other other platforms I used um, on my own. But yeah, I'm just really, I really was just learning as I was going and I wanted to have a more solid foundation for my business. Like I want to be able, like I do wear all the hats, don't get me wrong, but I want to be able to um, know what's going on at the point where when I am able to hire people that I know what you're doing just as much as you do not I don't know anything you know and, and I'm hiring these people who know things that I don't know about my business you know so back in school with that I should be finished I think uh next year if I'm not mistaken I had already had some core classes that I took at other universities so you know but this has been brand new process i started this week no last week i started last week so here i am tapping the next color over from that light yellow it's like a orange brown like a burnt orange brown kind of color and i'm putting that in the crease as well i don't know what she was doing you see how grouchy she is y'all like oh my god i don't know why she be acting like that i don't know why she be acting like that because as soon as she wants somebody to uh want somebody um to be a mannequin for her so she can play in the head because she braids she's a braider you know i didn't i did not get that talent you know i am the model makeup artist i can't do a lick of hair okay i can't do no hair you'll never catch me on this platform telling y'all about no hair because i don't know how to do it and i'm not gonna lie steer y'all wrong in any kind of way i will show you and teach you what i know so i also went in with a, a deep brown in that crease as well just building that crease in just build 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 you want to go from light to dark so um i used some of the concealer on the back of my hand and i put that on my beauty blender just to kind of like soften out the inside of that lid so that when i i apply um a soft color i'm gonna apply a soft nude color into the uh the beginning of her lid just to blend out um what i did in the crease so here you see me doing that. I'm using a smaller, what? A smaller fluffy brush. And I'm just tapping that in as well. You wanna like, you see she has like uh, these already natural circular lids. So it didn't really require much of me. Everybody does not have eyelids like this. Everybody doesn't have eyelids with this much space, you know? So shout out to her and our ancestors for that because it did make my job easier you will come across people who have hooded eyes and you have to go up higher in the lids because it's gonna fold like it's gonna fold over if you know like what i mean when i say hooded eyes and stuff like that but um i'm just tapping ever so lightly you see how that's rounding out you see that in the in the inner corner right there you see how i'm rounding that out just creating that with her just natural lid shape i did not do a cut crease on her i could have done that but i did not do that you see i, I that wasn't what we was doing today that wasn't what we were doing so now i'm just going back with that that brown I didn't add any additional product initially. I just used what was left over. And if I felt like I needed to tap back in into the palette, just tap lightly because you can always build up. You can never go back if you put too much. If you put too much on the brush and you apply it directly, it's going to take a lot of blending or you're just going to completely mess the eye look up and have to start over. Okay.
What's today's date? The 12th. Y'all got so much on work to do. I'm taking three courses, three C-term courses at one time. So that means that the classes are only um, seven weeks. They're only seven weeks, y'all. They're only seven weeks. So there's so much that I'm trying to do and keep up with. Like, like I said, I have some prom girlies still on my content creation. You know, um, I have a toddler. I'm in school, you know, just, just all around busy. Your girl is busy right now. So here I'm using the NYX um, eyeliner. And you want to make sure you're going slow and steady with that. With this particular black eyeliner with them, um, it's the fine point one. Girl, wait till it dries. Make sure you tell your client or, or whomever, wait till like they should they should be able to see that it's still wet or whatever or you. But please, please wait because if you open your eye too quickly, it's gonna it's gonna transfer. It's gonna transfer to the rest of the eyelid. It's gonna mess up the whole eye look. I personally haven't come across a way where I can like um, like uh, take that off in just that particular part. If I were to mess up, I have to usually just start all the way over. So please, 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 please be careful with that because it's wet and um, it will transfer. So now we're just going to take foundation. Um, this is the Maybelline Fit Me in 360 Dewey. And um, I'm just using this, it's like a paintbrush, but it's a foundation brush. That's like, think of it in, in that, that way. And I'm just going over where you see I concealed as well as color corrected. We primed the face and all that in the beginning. So it sat for a while and set. See how dewy that foundation is. Okay, nice little natural, natural looking face. I didn't have to do too much. I did not have to do too much. Um, I have been doing makeup since I was 16 years old. I will be 27 uh, in a few weeks. At the end of March, I'll be 27. So it's been a long time coming, y'all. I'm definitely true to it, not new to it. I've been doing this for a long time. That doesn't mean it'll take you uh, 10 plus years or anything like that. This is just something I have been doing for um, a long time I started when I was in high school like I started wearing makeup when I was like 14 but nothing like this like I would just come to school with a little smoky eye or something no foundation just lip gloss um no brows nothing like that my mom wasn't going for all of that now she she wasn't going for all of that this was like 2013 2012 you know she wasn't going for all of that y'all so I took my black opal foundation stick I'm not sure what the color is. I'm not sure what the color is. I know it's the, the, mm, dang. But I'm using the same concealer I've been using throughout and I'm just gonna blend that out with the Beauty Blender first. I want to give her a brighter under eye, but like, like y'all see, the girl not going, okay? She gave me a little hard time, whatever. She begrudgingly sat down in my chair and um let me play in her face or whatever so um i did what i could while i could i just did what i could while i could so i'm just blending out that contour let's see just blending out that contour with the beauty blender and i'm gonna um let the the highlight set for just a little bit let it get a little tacky first before i go in on that um yeah and um i do eventually go back in with a soft concealer brush and put more concealer and just tap that in so lightly so it creates a you know a slight difference in uh shade so you can see the brighter under eye look that we were going for so initially i used the beauty blender Personally, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the Beauty Blender, but I do find like, I like the way that the product presses into the skin with the soft brush. It's like those bristles, they just, they do exactly what you want to create the um, the highlight. 
that you're looking for it just blends out so much better to me in my personal opinion now do what you want do do if you know what to do hey do your biggest one babe do it do whatever that is for you but this is just my personal experience and what i've come across um in like the recent weeks and stuff and just watching other content creators like you always have to be a student always willing to learn and just continue to perfect your craft you're never above learning so let's start there never above learning you should always want to know more about what you claim to know the most about you should always want to know more always willing to be a sponge so here's when I saw that it wasn't giving me quite the the bright look, you know, that I wanted. So I went back in and I just tapped with that soft brush, like I, how I said. So a way to not have creasing under your concealer, under eye and stuff like that, you can take some translucent powder and um, tap that in with the beauty blender or a powder puff. If you do have that, know what that is, a powder puff, that little triangle brush people have on the back of their fingers. It has like a, um, what's what's the, what's the that material? The elastic band on the back of it. And um, it's like in a, a little triangle shape or whatever, but I'm just taking that here and then I'm gonna go in with a um, baking powder, the, um, revolution makeup in beige and the translucent translucent was also makeup um makeup revolution not makeup revolution y'all just revolution <laughs> just revolution getting tongue-tied trying to talk too fast but yeah i'm um, doing that under eye and on the forehead as well Not a smile, y'all. Not a smile, just side eyes. Just side eyes. Baby, if looks could kill. Okay? So here I am going with that trans, not translucent. Dang. The um the beige powder, the setting powder, dang. Here I am going in with that um to set on top of that to give that that un that bright under eye with um the powder as you layer it and also like i said no creasing it will allow no creasing i don't know if you've had like um like i'm the kind of person where when i wear my makeup i wear it for at least six to eight hours i don't want anything transferring if possible or the makeup moving and sliding or anything like that or any creasing you know i may need a little uh, a rice paper because i do have oily skin in my t-zone area but aside from that i don't tend to um my makeup it don't move okay it don't move i wouldn't i wouldn't steer you wrong baby girl i wouldn't tell you tell you nothing wrong so this i'm using a flat brush um with the nyx uh it's a jumbo pencil it's a jumbo eyeliner pencil and i just tapped onto that a great way to stop your client or yourself from uh, the watery eye thing you know when you get a brush or something close to your lid you know your eyes tend to want the water get a q-tip and put it in the corner of your eyes so that way um you don't cry on the makeup or anything like that so i'm just doing the same thing i did um on the other side Making sure they're even. So now I'm just dusting off that extra powder. I've let it set. I press the powder into the skin. That will allow you not to have flashback. I press the powder into the skin and dust off the excess. Just side on you. Ooh, wee. So here I'm just taking the um, e.l.f. blush palette. This is one of two e.l.f. blush palettes that I do have. Um, I don't think they have a name. If they do, 
it's probably on the back or whatever but it comes with four different little squares with different um shades of blush this is the lighter uh blush palette that i have and it's compact it's small like you can see in my hand i'm just applying that to the the apples of the cheeks i did not put any highlight on her i just didn't we just didn't do that today and that's okay you do what the client wants not what you want because they are the the person that's paying you know you can make suggestions here and there what you think that will look good on them and stuff like that but ultimately it's their face so i like to use eyeshadow to line my lips because i just find that it stays longer and better in my personal opinion do if you got a fire lip pencil whatever 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 do your biggest one babe do your biggest one this is what i do you 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 do your biggest one um my sister does have um a lazy eye so it uh, not too much on her okay not too much on her but um, I'm seeing like the way that the lashes are sitting. You all probably may not be able to really like see anything like that unless you yourself, you know, somebody with one or, you know, um, you have one. Um, I was just looking at how the lashes fell on someone who does have a lazy eye. But like I said, not too much on, not too much on the girl. I can say what I can say. You can't say that. You can't say that. So I'm just using the same, um, shadow that i use in in her her lid like you can see here and i'm just gonna put a gloss over it and that's it set that face you see that you see that mm-hmm mm-hmm absolutely absolutely just like a a, a mini version of me this looks like a mini version of me But yeah, guys, this is some simple prom makeup, natural, you know, it didn't take away her youth. She still looks like herself. She still looks young, you know, um, and we're just going to set the face and that's it, y'all. This is how it turned out per. Yeah, bam, bam. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, any questions you may have below and I will see you all in the next video.